Ross Glen is sort of a sore spot for some drivers. So many similar names scattered throughout the neighborhood. It's the subject of continuous jokes. As Alderman Sauer said, there's been three people lost for four years and they've never found them. Now city planners are proposing the same thing for Samus Heights. Alderman Renner hates the idea. They're all in the same immediate area, Sunrise Circle, Sunrise Street, uh, Sunrise Road, Sunrise Gate, Sunrise Drive. And I said it was a delivery person's nightmare. And uh, we've, we've done that in some of the other areas of the city. Samus Heights is located in the southeast near Southridge. City staff say emergency crews like having similar names clustered in one area. The areas in Ross Glen, for example, where you have an area where all the streets are Rossdale or Rossmere, at least once you're in that area, you know you're close. In Southridge, where we have all the streets start with the letter S, but there's no logic to them, you know, it's very difficult to say, well, I'm going to go down Simpson and over to Strachan and then I have to find some other street. So you really never know if you're in the right, right area. Planners came up with the name Sunrise because Phase 1 is on the east side of Samus Heights. They even considered using native names to carry on the Samus theme. We had given some thought to names that uh, would carry through on either uh, Cree or, or Blackfoot, uh, traditional words that would either be related to tribes or chiefs or something like that. And it's important to note the names are only proposed right now. Street naming in Medicine Hat could get easier in the future. The city's in the process of developing a new street naming policy. In fact, staff have been working on it since last summer. It should be taken to council in about a month. Carrie Isles, Newswatch.